Hello everyone, Wes here, author of Sublime Text Power User. I've got a really great tip for you today on Sublime Text, and that is the clipboard history. This is one of those tips where I show people it and they go, oh man, I had no idea that Sublime could do that. I didn't even know that that was possible in other applications. Uh, that's really helpful to my workflow. So if you aren't familiar, a clipboard history is the ability to kind of have multiple things that you can paste or copy and paste or multiple things in your clipboard. Um, and that's really helpful because sometimes you're in some code and you copy something and then you head down to where you need to paste it and you accidentally copy something else. Now, where is that first one gone? It's kind of gone for good unless you have clipboard history. So. The way it works is really, really simple. Uh, right here, I've just got some JavaScript open. This obviously works with uh, any little bit of code. Um, and I'm just going to go ahead and select one of these lines and I'm just gonna copy it my regular way. So if you're on Windows, it's Control V, Control C. If you're on Mac, it's Command C. Uh, or you can do the right click copy. Pretty simple. Um, then maybe I'm going down to uh, the bottom somewhere around here and then I actually I select this line right here and I copy it as well now when I go and paste it it's going to be controls walk but what if I wanted that first one that I copied well it's pretty simple uh, rather than just hitting command or control V depending if you're on Mac or Windows first hit command K and then hit your regular command V and what you'll see is this little uh, pop-up box that we can actually control with either a keyboard or a mouse definitely recommend you use your keyboard and you've got all of the items that you've recently copied so uh, this time scale one was the first thing I copied I go ahead and hit enter and it will paste it right in there uh, now that's really really cool because uh, let me go up here I can copy that one uh, I can copy this one I can copy that one now when I want to go ahead and paste again, command K V and you see I've got an entire list of everything that I needed to paste. Um, I also use this quite a bit is if you just are on a line, you can hit command X and that will just cut the entire line. So X, 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 X. I've gotten rid of a whole bunch of lines. Now, if I ever need to get just one of those back because oops, I deleted like the middle one and I didn't want to command K command V and I've got all of them available to me right in here. I can hit enter and I'm off to the races. So just a really, really quick tip. Uh, definitely will improve your workflow when you accidentally uh, copy something over what you wanted. Rather than hitting command Z, command Z and going back to what you want, you can access those things in your clipboard history. So that's it for more tips like this. Be sure to check out my book. It's called Sublime Text Power User. Uh, it's available on sublimetextbook.com. And I've got a coupon code for you. If you use the coupon code YouTube, all caps, one word, you will get $10 off either package. I've got uh, two great packages, which is the entire book. It kind of covers everything you would want. Uh, as well as 20 different videos. You can grab just the book or the book in the videos. Uh, as well, make sure to follow me on Twitter. I'm always posting more stuff like this. I'm at Wes Boss, W-E-S-B-O-S, -S, uh, and I'm always posting things about web development, sublime text. All right, thanks a lot, and I will talk to you guys later.